38-year-old John Smith had been a volunteer at the Hillside Animal Sanctuary Center for the rehabilitation of large hoofed animals for several years. This nonprofit organization has been active in the fight for animal rights for many years and specializes in helping horses, cows, deer and other ungulates that have suffered from cruelty and improper care on farms and ranches. On that memorable Saturday, April 22, John was returning from a tough overnight shift at the rehabilitation center. After several hours of restless sleep, he woke up at 5 a.m. to the loud singing of birds outside the window. The spring sun was just beginning to illuminate the surroundings, casting its first timid rays through the morning haze. After having some breakfast, John set off on his way back to Norwich City Center. The drive was about 40 minutes along a narrow country road winding through picturesque green hills and fields. John usually enjoyed the beautiful views around him, but that day he felt very tired after a sleepless night. The man felt very sleepy, despite the open windows in the car and a fresh breeze. Suddenly, ahead on the side of the road, John noticed some kind of reddish spot. At first he thought it was probably a tumbleweed or a large tree branch. But when the spot suddenly moved slightly, there was no doubt it was a living creature. Slowing down, John saw the body of a large deer lying on the grass. The poor thing must have been hit by a car, he thought and immediately stopped to help the animal. John knew from his experience at the rehabilitation center that the first few minutes after a serious injury are crucial. Getting out of the car, he quickly walked towards the animal, which was now lying motionless. The deer was lying on its side, fortunately not on the roadway. Taking a closer look, John noticed that the poor thing's chest was still heaving slightly. But when he reached out his hand to the noble head of the deer, his eyelids no longer moved. The deer was dead. Apparently, the accident happened quite recently, the body had not even had time to cool down, and the animal's large, beautiful eyes were still wide open. Examining the body more closely, John suddenly discovered something strange, the dead deer had a distinctly huge, protruding belly. There was no doubt left, it was a pregnant female. And then John suddenly felt a distinct movement in her womb. Good lord, the fawn inside was still alive. Without wasting a second of precious time, John rushed to his car. In the trunk he always carried a full first aid kit and a set of surgical instruments in case of emergency situations with the animals in his care at the rehabilitation center. After all, he, like many other employees, completed a course in veterinary first aid. Grabbing everything he needed, John rushed back to the body lying on the grass. The man's hands were shaking slightly with excitement, but John quickly pulled himself together. He deftly extracted the little bundle of life from its mother's womb. The fawn was tiny, about the size of a grown man's palm, all wet and squeezed tightly into a ball. However, the cub showed weak signs of life, its soft pink skin trembled barely noticeably. John quickly clamped the umbilical cord and wrapped the cub in his sweater, trying his best to keep it warm. Half an hour after the incredible discovery on the side of the road, they were already at the rehabilitation center. The staff immediately rushed to their aid. While some employees connected heaters and life support equipment, others prepared nutritional formula for the newborn. The fawn was so tiny and fragile that everyone feared for its life. After all, the chances of survival for premature deer cubs are extremely low. However, this little animal turned out to be a real fighter. At first he greedily sucked on the bottle, and after a couple of days he was timidly twitching his legs, trying to stand on them. All the employees of the rehabilitation center rejoiced their little ward was clinging to life with all his tiny might. His every appearance brought sincere smiles and tears of joy from the staff. Several weeks have passed since that ill-fated day. The fawn got stronger and began to grow quickly. This is a very energetic, playful, healthy, and cheerful cub. Now, if any of the employees pass by his enclosure, he immediately starts clucking his hooves and jumping, attracting the attention of caring people. Even the most gloomy faces light up with kind smiles at the sight of this wonderful little deer. Everyone at the rehabilitation center is very proud of their little charge and eternally grateful to John. If not for his decisive actions and skillful hands, this story would have ended very sadly. 
and now every appearance of the cub is an inspiring reminder of the incredible power of life and the universal value of every creature, even the tiniest. The fawn continues to delight everyone with his appetite, playfulness and restless curiosity, as a guiding light of hope for many affected animals.